What's up, ballers? Jacob here with All Drive No Drop talking about the Head Radical Night today. Uh, $220, no discount codes. Buy it at Just Paddles if you want to support the channel. It's on the pricier end. I know, so we're gonna get into the discussion if it's worth it and what I think about this paddle. I used to use head rackets and tennis, so I was interested to see what head's bringing to the table these days. I really enjoy their premium handles. This handle is awesome. I wish this handle could just be, you know, exported to every paddle out there because this handle is great. I am going to do a giveaway, so stick around to the end if you want a chance to win a Head Radical Knight. And then let's jump into the specs because I want to just give you my first impressions and thoughts on what this paddle brings to the table. So let's jump into those specs right now. Okay, so let's talk about the Head Radical Knight specs. This is a Thermofarm unibody constructed paddle with perimeter ed edge foam. Like I said, it's an elongated paddle with T700 carbon fiber face with spray on grit. It's a 16.5 inches long by 7.5 inches wide paddle. 15 millimeters in thickness. The weight is 8.1 ounces. The grip circumference is 4.125. On their website, they do list that it comes either in four inches or 4.125 inches. So that is one thing to note because I know a lot of people are looking for that smaller grip. I don't know if you can custom ask or not, but it doesn't hurt to ask. Swing weight of 116 and a twist weight of 5.87. It's an all right twist weight for an elongated paddle, and we'll talk more about that in the gameplay thoughts. But 116 swing weight, very good for an elongated paddle. It feels super light in the hands. Let's jump into the gameplay now, and we'll get my thoughts on how this performs on the court. So the Head Radical Knight is a pretty good elongated thermal form paddle. The grit that they use the spray on grit it gets good spin it feels really solid in your hands i love the premium handle just the connection with the ball with uh, the resin injection that they have it feels really crisp uh usually with elongated handles when you're getting off center shots or you know especially on carbon fiber paddles it maybe feels a little harsh when those off center shots or feel a lot of vibration with the resin injection that they have the shots feel really crisp it feels really good like you can still feel the ball but it's not too harsh and then you you can get a lot of top spin i don't know how long the grit's going to last with the spray on they say you know it's manufactured to last a long time but you never know you get great power um, you really can whip through the ball on your rolls, on your serves, on your drives. You can rip those shots really well. I like the 15 millimeter core. I think more people should make the 15 millimeter core. It's a nice sweet spot between that 14 and 16. So, and then, you know, the 116 swing weight plays pretty well. It feels nice and light in your hands. That's pretty low swing weight for an elongated paddle. So all that, all the offensive stuff is really good. It does suffer a little bit in resetting and blocking. You do get some twist. I think the optimal setup on this paddle would be three grams of lead tape at four and eight o'clock. I think that would help it a lot. Uh, it just, it, it just doesn't hold up too well on the, uh, on the sides. It twists a little bit in your hands, but it does help that the handle is really uh really well done so that it it does pr help prevent a little bit of that twisting but you can always feel it twisting and just the handle sticks in your hand a little bit better um but besides that i i really enjoyed the uh the overall experience with this paddle the the dinks are are crisp uh like i said you get enough top spin to hit nice rolls hit nice drives and serves uh, i love hitting overheads with this thing it just feels like just the power is is really good yeah so overall the pros great spin uh good great power decent pop for an elongated paddle at the 116 swing weight and it, it really does feel like you can get at least a average pop for a thermoform paddle and a 15 millimeter quart it feels pretty good uh, control on the sweet spot the sweet spot is actually a decent size like top to bottom it's just on that width that you feel a little bit of a uh, a, you know a little bit of that twisting and, and not as harsh as some carbon fiber house say like a dbd on the off center shots but you feel a little bit but overall i'm happy with the paddle um if you just look at the paddle on its own but we'll get to my final thoughts on the conclusion of whether i recommend this paddle. so after all that is said do i recommend buying the head radical knight it's priced 
at a price point where I don't think it is competitive against some of the other paddles at that price point. Where when we get over 200, we're talking about, we have so many amazing paddles under 200. So the reason to buy this is if you really, really like the head brand and you really want that quality handle, although the Speed Up also has really great handles, I'll keep them in mind. But uh, so those are, it, 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 it's a great paddle. I enjoy the paddle for what it is. It has a lower swing weight for elongated. It still gets good spin, even with this uh, spray on grit. It has great power. It has decent pop for a uh, elongated paddle at 15 millimeters. I do enjoy the 15 millimeters. I wish more people made 15. Um, because I think that is a good happy spot between the 14 and 16. So on, on its own, if we're just playing with this paddle, I could take this to a tournament. I would be happy playing with it. Uh, the problem is the price. So if you're okay paying that brand premium price, which you know with Selkirk, you're paying extra because of the name. Head, they are charging extra because of the name with this. I wish this was like one, I don't know, like 120, 150 around that price range. But that's, those are all my thoughts. If you want to get it, go ahead. If you don't, I understand. If you do want to enter the giveaway, the instructions are on the screen. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video and you want to keep seeing more stuff that I bring in the future, I hope you all go play some pickleball.